team. Welcome to this week's uh, adult senior black belt track curriculum. So we're going to be doing our workout today. We're going to be working on stretching and on the side stretching. We're going to be introducing our new self defense technique for our staff. We're going to be going over our katas, so we can get everyone to go through that. We have a really cool workout for the end of class as well. So what, you notice right here, I have a chair and I have a hand target here. So for our workout today, you're going to need a chair or something you can put your leg on. Uh, it could be a chair, it could be a box, if you're at home, maybe it's a weight master, it could be any type of thing, thing like that. And I am going to use a hand target here, but it could be a pillow, anything that can give you a little extra weight, a little extra height on your uh, chair for the whole point. So let's go ahead and bow in and I'll show you what we're going to do with these chairs in a second. All right, team. Everyone out here in your natural stance. Team attention. Spread your feet, make a fist, cover, bring your feet together, and courtesy bow. Team, relax stance, hands right behind your back. And repeat after me. Take two build, true confidence, I must have, knowledge in the mind, honesty in the heart, and strength in the body. Winners never quit, quitters never win. I choose to be a black belt. Awesome team. So we're gonna get started. What we're gonna do to start off with is we're gonna be doing some side stretching uh, using our chair. So I'm gonna put my target off this side, Let's bring my chair out here a little bit so you can see it a little bit. And what we're going to start off first is we're just going to take our right leg and we're just going to put our leg on the chair. Kind of like, think of like a side kick. So if I was doing a side kick, I bring my leg up, extend it out. I'm just going to put my leg on here so the blade of my foot is on the chair. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do side squats. So from here, I take my back leg, we'll squat down, and I'm going to come back up. So we're going to do that 10 times. Put your hands up next to your cheek. Try and keep your back foot as straight as you can as you're doing this. Ready, team? And go. One. And two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome team. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna move away from the chair. I might want to put it off this side. I'm just gonna step forward a little bit so my front of my chair. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna do leg uh, raises to the side. So from here, we're gonna take your leg, bring it up and back. Try and bring it up as high as you can with each one. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome, team. So, next thing we're going to do is we're doing 10 jumping jacks. So, snap to attention. 10 jumping jacks. Ready? And begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Fantastic. Now we're going to do for ten floor jacks. So for this one, we're going to be in a plank position. So, And we're going to start off in our plank position. Our feet are going to be together. And we're going to shoot our feet out and back while we maintain that plank position. Uh, so from here, down our plank position. Make sure you're playing right behind you. And we're going to do ten of these, right? And one, out and in. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Keep that back up. All right, and the last thing we're going to do is we're going to do ten nine climbs. All right, so again, back down to our plank position. We're going to do ten, ten on one side, and ten on the other, so 20 total. Right, so down, and go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. And relax, back up. All right, so let's try that on the other side now. Target back over here. All right, so we're going to do our right leg this time. So our right leg going to come up, right on the chair. And if the foot's on the chair, arms up. Spread your feet out a little bit. Ready? And 10 going down. Ready? And one, two, three. Try to keep this leg straight as I go down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome. So again, we're going to do our leg raises this side. Just going to move that way a little bit. So, 10 leg raises this side. Ready? Hands up. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. Ten jumping jacks, team. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten floor jacks, team. Down the floor. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now our ten mountain climbers. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And back up. Our team. Let's put our chair back on our right side. And this time we're going to take our pillow, our target, whatever we have to raise our, our height up a little bit. We're going to put that on top of the chair. So this time, as we're doing our leg, our side squats, we're going to put our foot on top of the target, on top of the pillow. And we'll just slide this out a little bit more. Awesome. And again, trying to keep this leg as straight as I can. I like bend. Hands up. Ready, team? And go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Fantastic. And again, back to our leg raises off to the side. Your hands are up. Ten up to the side. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. All right, team, back to our ten jumping jacks. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten floor jacks down the ground. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Down to our mountain climber position. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And relax. Back on your feet. Awesome. Keep a sticker target. Put it on the other side. Again, our pillow, our hand target, whatever it's going to be, is going to be on top of the chair. Take our left leg, put it on top, try and keep your left leg as straight as you can, hands up next to your cheeks. Our right leg is going to be bending. Try and keep your, just bend your knees. Try not to just bend over here. Try and bend and lower your weight down. Ready? And 10. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Awesome team. So again, we're gonna move the chair off to the side. We move it way off the side this time. Alright, team. And this time, uh, ten more leg raises to the right. Sorry, to the left. Your hands are up. And try and keep your hands up, try and maintain that good guard, a bit of a body posture. Try not to lean way over as you do the right. Try and keep your body up as high as you can. Ready? And one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And relax. All right, team, ten jumping jacks. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fantastic team, 10 floor jacks. Ready? On the ground, in a plank position, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome team, down around our timers. Last set, ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And team, everyone up, relax, shake it out for a little bit. Awesome. 
All right, team, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna do our self-defense technique. Our self-defense technique is broke the staff. All right, for a right hand sh side shoulder grab. Let me grab my mask. I'll have this Daniel come up here and join me. Thank you very much, Miss Danielle. All right, team, for this one, Miss Danielle is gonna use her right hand. She's gonna grab my left shoulder. Awesome. So we're gonna do this mirroring for everybody. So from here, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna take my I do this right way. Yeah. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is take my right hand, I'm gonna pin on her hand. I'm gonna pin on her hand right here. And as I pin, what I'm gonna do is step forward with my left leg. And I'm gonna chop. I'm gonna do it the other side method, okay? Awesome. I'm gonna show you guys this right now. Okay, awesome. So anyway, just she's we're gonna mirror this for you guys instead of doing it at the same direction. So uh, again, this is for a right hand shoulder grab. So she's grabbing hold of from the mirror. This is my left, she's grabbing hold of my left shoulder with her right hand. Again, for mirroring purposes. My right hand comes up, chops right here. I'm gonna step forward. Okay, so I step forward, I step forward with my right leg, pull it over forward, and I'm gonna chop in. From here, team, I'm gonna step back. As I step back, I'm gonna do a wrap around. My arms are gonna come up over, underneath. And I think about myself punching, and I'm gonna punch at a 45 degree angle. Here, I'm punching in this direction right here. I'm rotating my body through here. Be very gentle if you do this with a partner. It's very easy to underestimate how much support you can do this. So I wanna keep my arm close to my body, so my elbow is right behind her elbow. So I'm getting that maximum foot support. Awesome. What I'm gonna do next is a corkscrew punch. I'm gonna take my. Uh, Left hand, I'm gonna take that hand, and those two big knuckles on that hand, I'm bringing it around behind her head, I'm gonna strike right at the base of the skull, the back of the neck, driving her down. Then from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish that wind up, I'm gonna come back up, chopping into the neck. You notice I'm not trying to go this way, I'm coming up contouring the body, that way she's still leaning over, I still have a chance to get her in the neck. Striking up, into the neck, boom. Then stop, stay back, as we clear out. All right, Ms. Danielle, I'll try that again. All right, team, again, we're doing this as a, from a mirror point of view. She's grabbing hold of her, me with her right hand from the side. I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm gonna pin. Step forward, chop right to the neck. From here, step back, arm rolls back as my foot goes back, arm comes in, and I rotate, like uppercut. And I really think my body rotates. We'll do this, I'll show you this a little better. But out of partner here, we don't have to worry about hurting her. So I'm gonna bring up, back knuckles come through, corkscrew punch to the back of the head, chop into the neck. Stop staying up. Thank you very much, Ms. Danielle. All right, team, let's do that a couple times in the air. So uh, we'll break it down again. For everyone who has been doing this for the very first time, it is broken the staff. It's for a right hand shoulder grab. So the attacker comes behind, comes up my left side, so they can grab with their right hand. When they grab with their right hand, I'm pinning with mine. Look pin, stepping out with my right leg. As I do, I chop to the neck. And again, when we're doing these chop scenes, try to avoid the habit of chopping horizontally. I think my arm is down, the grab hold my arm is down here. I'm not gonna go up and out. I'm just gonna up that angle, all the angle. So I'm stepping in, up, up toward the neck. Awesome. From here, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna step back. As I step back, my arm wraps around my attacker's arm. My elbow braces the back of their elbow. I'm coming through, and I'm gonna bring my elbow in as close as I can, really trap that in close, and I'm gonna punch. So I think about myself as gonna punch here, not just bracing it here, I'm punching, I'm trying to punch through. And watch my hips, like where my belt is, where my belly button's right here. As I do this, boom, I rotate in there. So I get my entire body into that. Again, be very careful if you're doing this with a partner, you're probably not gonna do that exact thing on a partner, but that is the motion I'd wanna do if I had an actual attacker. All right, from here, my hand comes back around. We drop it down behind them, right in the back of the neck. These two knuckles here, this one kind of hit, boom, right to the base of the neck from here. As they're going forward, I'm dropping the hand through past their head, and I'm coming back up. I'm coming back up at the same angle, striking into their neck. Stop, stay back as we go, as we clear out. All right. So if you feel uh, if you feel the back of your neck, you're gonna find that spot where your your neck reaches up to the base of your skull. Uh, that for me is like that sweet spot right there, uh, that little kind of indentation right there at the back. 
If I can hit right there, that really get uh, a good strike. I'm not hitting the skull. I'm not banging my knuckles against the skull, which is all that matter. I'm working on that, that neck. Uh, but it's a good pivot point because it kind of gives you some leverage, extra leverage to pull that forward with it. All right, you must try that again. So we're back to our natural stance. This is broken staff. It's for a right hand shoulder grab. We're going to pin and step forward as we chop. We're going to step back as we wrap around, breaking the elbow, knee. Right, from here, shift back. Back, back hole, corkscrew right to the back of the head. Boom. Bring it back up, chop to the neck. And then stop, stay back, as we get out of there. So you notice as I'm doing it, my hand stays up here the entire time. This hand is doing one or two things for me the entire time. One is I'm controlling their arm. I have their hand here, I'm trying to control it so that uh, they don't get away. I can keep control of them with all the uh, joint manipulation on their elbow. Or two, they did get away from me, and I'm just not going to put my hands here in case they decide to punch me. It's either a guard or a still pin, either one, depending on whether you still have your hand in your grip or not. So one more time, team, broken the staff, right hand shoulder grab, they grab from the right, they grab with the right hand, my left side, I'm going to pin with my right hand, step forward with my right leg, left hand circles around, wrap around, I brace against their elbow, from here I step back, left hand does a corkscrew punch to the back of their head, dropping it down, left hand comes back up into their neck, perfect, give them a push, stop, stay back. And again, that is our broken staff. All right. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go through our kata. So, Miss Danielle, you want to do universal one two times? Yeah. Awesome. So we're going to go through universal one two times. We'll go through tornado two times, and we'll go through twin tornadoes two times. This uh, Starting this week, if you feel extremely confident in your kata, you might want to talk to your online coach, your instructor, to see if you start testing your kata starting this week. Uh, if you have two strikes. All right, Miss Danielle, I'll leave you. All right, so we're going to keep working on number one. Our this is the main product for the white three green belt here. So we're going to start right here in our center stance. Right hand's going to come up, we're going to say Ashikata. Other hand comes up, universal one. Now we're going to bow, step back to your dying stance, Aya. From here, we're going to take our strong hand, we're going to do our wide belt. We're going to go up, in, out, backhand punch, then downward claw, punch again, step forward, do your heel pump towards the floor, backhand so that you're front. And you're going to do our kick. So forward's going to do your back leg, do your front kick. Back leg does your back house kick, then forward. And now for our second hand side, so your front hand will go up, in, out, punch, down, punch, step forward, heel pump, back hand punch. From here, back leg does your front kick. New back leg does your back house kick, going forward. Side feet back together, your tension stance. And now we're going to do that one more time together. So it's back here. So start right here again in our attention stance. We're going to come up, action kata, universal one, bow, going stance, aya. From here, we're going to go up, in, out, punch, down, punch, step forward, heel palm, punch, back leg, front kick, lean forward, front house kick, lean forward, second side, go up, in, out, punch, down, punch, step forward, heel palm, Punch, then front kick, swing forward, roundhouse kick, stop it together, and back. So team, if you are one of the white three green belts, you're going to continue working on universal one. Brown belts and higher, you're going to grab your knee sticks and work on facial twisting afterwards. Thank you very much, ma'am. All right, team. So our brown belts and higher, uh, we're going to do tornado. If you are a uh, white three green belt, go ahead and continue working on universal one. We'll only go through tornado here. All right, starting on our natural stance. All right, team, attention. Tornado, courtesy bow. Back to our natural stance. Horse stance. Four count high. One, two, three, four. Draw that X in front of us. Four count low. One, two, three, four. Take it out their knee. Cop, cop. Head, head. Waist, waist. Knee, knee. Kind of like getting the drum all the way down for everything. From here, team. Go back to our side. Double strike. Other side. Double strike. Awesome, team. One more time. Double strike. Pin. Strike, right there again. Double strike, spin, and back to the front. Back to our natural stance. Back to our attention stance, and bow. Right, and back to our natural stance. All right, so real quick, as we're doing the tornado cut, as you're doing the bows, please make sure you keep the arnie stick 
above the head. So sometimes I'll see people who do the bow, and as they start to bow, they drop the arnie stick down toward the ground. So the arnie stick starts up above your head, and even though we're bowing, still keep it pointing to the ceiling as best you can as you're going through that. All right, team. Ready? Back out to our natural stance. All right, team, ready? Attention! Tornado! Come on. Back out to our natural stance. Core stance. Four count high. One, two, three, four. Four count low. One, two, three, four. Cop, cop, head, head, waist, waist, knee, knee. Double strike. Whew. Double strike. Spinning double strike. Hit and turn out. Right? Double strike. Hit and turn out. Back to our natural stance. Tension. And bow. Awesome team. All right, so brown belts and red belts, please continue working on tornado. My senior black belts, we're going to do our twin tornado next. So starting out on our natural stance. Tension. Our knees stick across our body. Twin tornado. Bow. Crossed up. Down. Back to your guard stance. All right. All right, flowing sticks high. One, two, three, four. Flowing sticks low. One, two, three, four. Beating the drum. Head, waist, knee. Twit. Step forward, step back. Go to the guard on the other side. Head, waist, knee. Right. Under, over, right? So we're going to switch again from here. Under, and then over. Switch forward, back. Back to our guard. Hit low, hit high. All right. Next part of this is going to be our long part. So from here, we're going to come up. We're switching again. And from here, we're going to do our double strike, spin, double strike, come back, double strike, spin, and double strike. We're switching our step up a little bit here. We're going to do step back, step forward, strike to the head, strike to the knees, come back down, step back. And chin and bow. Awesome. Alright, team, let's try that one more time. The pod is twin tornadoes. Right? Back to our natural stance. Right? Tension. Twin tornadoes. Bow. Circle around. Back up. Guard stance. Oh yeah. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Head, waist, neck, switch. Head, waist, neck, switch. Under, over, switch, under, over, switch, double strike, step through, double strike, double strike, switch, double strike, switch, step back, strike to the head, strike to the knees, come right down to the shoulders, boom, step back, tension, bow, all right team, thank you very much, all right, we're going to put our knees sticks back, and we're going to gather around for the rest of the week, we're coming a little closer to the camera so everyone can see, All right, team, let me get my glasses so I can see a little bit. All right, team, hi. I have a really cool question for you today. Uh, and this is a question that's got to make you think about your own level of success. All right. When is a dime equal to an ounce of gold? Now, remember, an ounce of gold is worth like a thousand, like almost $2,000 now. It's almost $2,000 now. So, when is a dime equal to a bar of gold? The answer is really simple. When they're both sitting at the bottom of the ocean, they both have zero value. Value in that situation. They can't be used for anything. Oliver Wendell Holmes said that the greatest tragedy in life is unused talent, an unused resource. Right? Think about what you have inside of you that might not be being used because you aren't trying as hard as you could. Maybe you aren't practicing, maybe you aren't discovering. Right? Well, guess what? Now is the time you're going to start discovering and learning. And that is what martial arts is all about. That's what earning your black belt is all about. It's about using your potential. It's about learning how to develop who you really are. So team, the goal is to make sure that you are using that one ounce of gold, not just that time. All right, team, we have a little bit of time left. We're going to do a workout real quick. So team, I don't think we need anything special for this one. Uh, so what we're going to start off with is, let's get right out a little bit, get some room in front of you. We're going to do some uh, high workouts. So about a three minute round, long round. What's going to happen is we're going to start on our natural stance. Okay. The first round is what we're going to do is we're going to do front kicks. So I'm going to be in my guarding stance. I'm going to do a front kick. Boom. 
As soon as they're done, I'm going to switch to the other side. I'm going to do another front kick. I'm going to switch to the other side. We're going to do 10 front kicks, and then we're going to do four. So 10 front kicks, five one leg, five two leg. We're alternating each time. After that team, we're going to do 10 high knees. So we're high knees, put our hands out in front of us. We're just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're doing that 10 times, and then we repeat. So that's going to be our first three minute rounds. I'm going to take my glasses off with it because I know I'm going to sweat a little bit. So uh, I will try to lose them halfway point through it. Miss Danielle, do you don't mind uh, being my timer for this one? Awesome. I can't see the ball. <laughs> no, now that I don't have my glasses on, I can't see the ball. All right, team, ready? Back to our natural stand, keep tension, back to your guard stand. We're gonna start out with our front kick, right? And begin. One, switch, two, switch, three, switch, four, switch, five, switch, six, switch, seven, switch, eight, switch, nine, switch, ten, switch. And then we do those high knees, put my hands out in front of me, so I'm going it. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to my guarding stand. So ten more front kicks, right? And go. So it's going to be one, switch, two, switch, three, switch, four, switch, five, switch, six, switch, seven, switch, eight, switch, nine, switch, ten, switch. And again, back to our high knees, right? And go. Eight. Awesome. Back toward front kick. Ready? And one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Our team is back to our high knees again. Ready? And go. Back to our front kids. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, team. Back to our high knees. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to our guiding stand. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, back to our high knees. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, back to our front stand. Kept front kick. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. All right, team. Back up to our high knees. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh. Ten times. Ooh. <laughs> next round. I'll let you take the next round. Can I grab my glasses so I can actually see the clock first? Um, <laughs> all right, team. So for our next one that we're going to do, instead of doing our front, we're going to do a wheel kick jab cross combination. So it's going to look like this. We're going to grab here my hearing stand and taking my front. We're going to side side my table chamber, taking the table the top part of my foot, the laces. And I set that front foot down. So front left's going to do the kick. Front hand's going to come out for my jab. Back hand's going to be my cross. So it's going to be wheel kick jab cross. We'll switch our feet. So new front leg's going to come out this side for that wheel kick. New front hand jab. New back hand cross. And just keep switching back first. So we'll do 10 total of wheel kicks. We're going to do the front kick. This time instead of doing 10 high knees, we're going to do 10 standing front kicks. So for our standing front kick, we're going to do some kind of cover feet front shoulder width apart. We're going to put our hands right behind our head, just like we would if we were doing a normal front kick laying on the floor. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of bend our body together so we can bring our one elbow to our opposite knee. So uh, my left hand here is going to go to my right knee, and my right elbow is going to go to um, 
my left knee right here. So what the leg lift is, we're going to kind of bend your toes, touch our joints together. So it counts as one. We'll come back down to three. I want to go all the way up to ten. We can do your exercise to the next half a minute here. So we'll start right back here in our guarding stands. And we're going to begin. So we're going to do wheel kick, jab cross. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now from here, feet shoulder apart, hands behind your head. We're going to do ten of our standing crunches. So we're going to come up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. From here, we go back to your grinding stance, back to our wheel kick jump cross. We do wheel kick, jump cross one, two, three, four, five, one minute, ma'am. Six, seven, eight, nine. And ten. From here, back to our standing crunches. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to our combination. So, here, drop cross. One, two, three, four. Standing crunches again. For one. That's two minutes, ma'am. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to our formation. Ready? Okay. Jump cross. One, two, three. More seconds. Nine and ten. Back to our crunches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Combination. One. Five more seconds. Two. Three. And time, ma'am. Awesome job. Stand up, cross the ground. All right, team, we're on to round three. Hey, round three. All right, team, round three is going to be roundhouse kicks and burpees. So, this is going to be our, our repetition for this one. So, again, like last time, we're doing 10 roundhouse kicks. Alternating legs each time. So, remember with our roundhouse kick, we start on our guarding stance, natural stance, go to our tension, back to our guarding stance, all right, just like this. Back leg is where our kick is. We pin with the front, kick, and we're gonna come back. And we're gonna switch legs each time we do. Right? So, 10 of those, and then we're gonna do our 10 burpees. So, so team with our burpees. So, um, figure out which one challenge that will be push ups or no push ups. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna squat down, hands on the floor, legs up behind us, push up, back, and back up in the air, right? So, that's gonna be a workout. And again, I'm gonna take my glasses off so I can see. So I don't lose them in the middle of our burpees. All right. Tension. Let your guard down. All right, team. Starting with our roundhouse kick. Ready? And one. Kick. And switch. Two. And switch. Three. And switch. Four. Switch. Five. Switch. Six. Switch, seven, switch, eight, switch, nine, switch, ten. All right, team, ten burpees. Ready? And go. 
One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Back to our roundhouse kick. Ready? Hype! And one. Switch. Two. Switch. Three. Switch. Four. Switch. Five. Switch. Six. Switch. Seven. Switch. Eight. Back to our 10 burpees. Ready? And one. Wait. Wait. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. In the back straight. That's 20 seconds. Halfway there. Twenty more seconds to go. Man, you're like a board there, Danielle. <laughs> Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Nice job, man. I feel like you got definitely have to eat your end of that question. Right? <laughs> uh, I still can't see. <laughs> All right, team. Everyone stand up. Take a few minutes to breathe. Do a four count breath. Inhale for four seconds. Hold it for four seconds. Exhale for four seconds. All right, team, let's do it together. Inhale. Hold it. Exhale. 
And Tina, you notice I use my arms a lot when I'm doing this? Helps me visualize. I want to get that air into my diaphragm, not just fill the top of my lungs. I want to breathe all the way down here from the bottom of my belly. And that's where I want to get the air in and the air out from. Ready, team? Again, ready? And inhale into your nose. Hold it for four seconds. Exhale, flip your mouth. Blow it all out. Fill that tongue muscles tight and into the air. Awesome team. Thank you very much for joining us today. Homework today is going to be broke staff. Make sure you, right after you're done doing doing this, please take like 30 seconds, get your camera, turn it around, videotape yourself doing it. 100 percent the best time to do it is right after you work out. Send that video to your online coach to get credit for your class. All right, team, everyone show me an action stance. Team, attention. Face front and bow. Again, thank you very much, team. Look forward to seeing you soon. Baby, see ya.